Good evening everyone, Kella here. <laughs> Welcome to my live stream, glad you could make it today. So it's time for a new event here in Twisted Wonderland with the White Rabbit Fest. <laughs> and uh, hello Hunter, hello Thomas, how are you doing? Alright. White Rabbit Fest, let's go! Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright! Into the story! I'm late! Ah, that's a very appropriate first, <laughs> first line for this event, huh? Or at least I will be if I don't hurry. Not good, not good at all. I'm never gonna make morning homeroom in time. I'm making kiss my honest student dreams goodbye for sure. Huh? Oh, it's Keller and Grimm. No use. We're going to be late. <laughs> right, I guess it's time to chat later. I see you two are flirting with tardiness as well. Overslept? Well, I bet Grimm did. Um... <laughs> yep, <laughs> just Grimm. Mm, nothing like a good night's sleep or to cure what ails you. I overslept as well. Pretty shameful behaviour for an honour student. Yeah, don't worry. I've never thought of you as an honour student. <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry, Deuce. <laughs> Ugh. 
but we don't have time for this. The homeroom is about to start. At lunch. Ah, oh, we don't get to see, we don't get to see if we made it in time. <laughs> You have definitely worked up an appetite after running around all morning. Do you care to eat lunch with us? <laughs> Hello, Haike. How are you doing? Sure, why not? I see Kala, Grim, and Ortho are with you as well. Yes, we ran into each other in the hall. Keller, Grimm, and I were chatting about a comic that's really popular right now. We thought F.L. Fermier might enjoy it too, so we joined up with him. That reminds me, Keller mentioned that you overslept this morning and were late for class? Uh, actually, I made it in the nick of time. Oh, good, good for you, Deuce. Just her. Her all walked in five seconds after we did. A look on his face gave me chills. Oof. I don't even want to imagine it. Why would you oversleep? School starts at the same time every day. All you have to do is back calculate based on how long it takes you to get to class, and that's when you wake up. I'm aware, thanks. Thing is, I didn't get to sleep on time last night. It's in the books? Isn't it? What were you doing? I was on the phone with my mum. I'm heading home to Clocktown this Sunday, so we had a lot to so we had a lot to talk about. Clocktown, huh? <laughs> Just a little rabbit trying his best, yes. <laughs> Just does try his best. That's a small town in the south of the Queendom of Roses, right? It must have been hard to get permission to go. What's happening on Sunday? It's White Rabbit Fest. Uh, did you say fest? <laughs> Grim's like. Festivals have food. Festivals are good. Um, come down, it's not really a big deal. Just a bit of a fun thing for the locals. It's been years since the last time I went, but after Mum reached out, I decided it's been long enough. Fest? Event? Fun? There's about to be a ton of good, a ton of good grub. Sure. Local businesses set up stalls and the restaurants make special food. I wanna go! Take me with you, Juice! He'll never agree to that. It'd be too much of a hustle. Okay. <laughs> Wait, really? Sure. It's a festival, so the more the merrier, as my mum would say. You're absolutely welcome to come with, Grim. Ah, oh, yeah! Sweet! What about you guys? Uh, I want to go. Then welcome aboard. I'd love to come. Me too. Going to a festival with school friends sounds just like what a normal student would do. I've heard a lot about the fest from my relatives who live near Clocktown. I've always hoped I'd get the chance to go. Whoa, I didn't know that. But maybe that's on me for never really mentioning my hometown before. Anyway, I'll let Mum know I'm bringing four friends with me. Deuce. Whoa, oh, where'd you come from? Uh, hi there, Silver. What's up? I couldn't help but overhear. Oh, sorry, were we being too loud? No, it's not that. I have a request. Would you mind bringing back an alarm clock for me? 
suppose a place called Clock Town probably has alarm clocks, right? An alarm clock? <laughs> His mum would ask questions about why he went alone. <laughs> Yeah, I guess his mum would worry if he didn't bring friends back with him, right? <laughs> An alarm clock? Yes, you see, I overslept this morning as well. And then not for the first time. Professor Train was rather angry with me. After some introspection, I've decided I need to add to my array of alarm clocks. And Father once told me that clocks made in Clocktown are some of the best around. Hello, Nick. <laughs> the event is just about starting. <laughs> there are definitely a lot of clock shops. They must really be something if people have heard of them all the way in Briar Valley. Yeah, uh, maybe? What do you mean, maybe? I mean, there are a lot of clock shops and makers, but I don't know if they're particularly high quality. They must be! Why name it Clock Town if not out of pride for your best products? Yeah, you're probably right. Probably. Probably? So you don't know anything about the clocks they make? Where's your hometown pride? <laughs> yeah, because FL can, uh, can extol the virtues of the apples from his hometown all day if you want him to. <laughs> so FL's like, why do you not care? <laughs> You got Cerberus Ortho, did you? Congrats, Nick. <laughs> and with less pulls than it took me, huh? <laughs> no. Kinda sounds like maybe you have it. According to my databanks, the town's timepiece industry is thriving, with many craftspeople who specialise in precision instruments. The timepiece is a first class and quality assured. A wide range is available from luxury items to more affordable offerings. You can always count on Ortho to look things up. Would you bring one back for me? I'll give you the marks, of course. Happy to, but what kind do you want? Oh, you're going to be trying to pull for the event cards, are you, Heike? Good luck. I don't think I can afford to go for these event cards, even though they're really cute. And that juice is very tempting. It is also Ruggie's birthday very soon. <laughs> um... Although I suppose uh, if, if Ruggie comes early, I, I could have a chance. But I probably shouldn't, because there's things I need to save for. Oh, actually, why don't you come with us? Then you can just buy the one you want for yourself. You don't mind? Not at all. No, oh, then I'd be happy to join. Okay, so it'll be six of us, including me. Does your mum have enough space for that? <laughs> Why are you so hung up on the exact number? It's not like we're staying overnight. Oh, we're not staying overnight, okay. My mum said if I was bringing friends, I should let her know how many. Last I told her, I was coming home alone, so I bet she'll be a bit shocked to hear that's changed. Oh, right. Your mum. I'm a little nervous to meet her, actually. 
I'm curious about what sort of person she is. Yes, sauce, food! I can't wait! <laughs> Nothing gets to Grim's brain except food. Sunday. Dot dot dot. <laughs> morning. Good morning. You're 20 seconds late. Sorry, Otto. So specific. Yeah, sorry. Once Silver shows up, we can get going. Silver's overslept, hasn't he? <laughs> You're curious how the event will go because this group is one of the most well-behaved ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are... These are mostly good kids. <laughs> No sign of him yet. Maybe he's still asleep. Maybe that's him right now. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh, no problem. We only just got here. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, yeah, Thomas, you are right. I say, I say mostly well behaved, but um, uh, we have several people here who will get in a fight <laughs> if um, if provoked. Wait, I've seen that FL card. How how are they getting FL to dress up that cute? I'm not sure how they're going to get him to agree to dress up that cute. <laughs> um. <sighs> I was almost starting to think that maybe you'd overslept again. But of course you'd never let that happen. No, you had it right, I overslept. I'd planned to arrive here ten minutes early, but instead that's when I woke up. That explains the bedhead, which actually makes you look more approachable. Sorry you have to see me like this. I thought four alarms would be enough. Four? We'd better find him a really good alarm clock, Deuce. I guess so. Anyway, let's get moving. <laughs> that didn't load properly, did it? Rabbits everywhere. Yeah, let's see all the bunnies. <laughs> Night mode. Wait, did it swap already? I honestly can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it yet. And it wouldn't be because it is still light out. Lovely. Baranoko, Hoyto Rabbit of Hess. Nice. 
There are indeed rabbits everywhere. Wow. Also clocks everywhere. Are those like little topiaries, the, uh, the, the white blobs? <laughs> the top yeah, the main topiary definitely looks familiar. That is, that is definitely the white rabbits of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> And all of the, all of the balloon, the rabbit balloons with glasses. I love those. <laughs> Wait, there's little rabbit ears on top of the lampposts. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. <laughs> We're here. Wow, it's beautiful. Cats, guys, tall trees, green grass, I hear soft music playing, and people happily chatting. Is this a park? Okay, are we done with auto-playing now? <laughs> Be sure to get the trumpet for the guest room. I haven't actually picked up any of the mementos for any of the events yet, so is it really worth it? <laughs> Yep, it's called White Rabbit National... No, there wasn't a white in there at all. It's called Rabbit National Park. There's so much happening. Usually it's more peaceful than this, but today's the first. The park's managed and cared for by the Queendom of Roses itself. It's beautiful hedges and well-maintained lawn are a sight to behold no matter the time of year. You absolutely have to see it when the roses are in full bloom. Hmm, okay. Why not make it your next vacation destination? You don't need to sell it to us when we're already here. What a lovely park! The Queendom of Roses is known for its beautiful greenery and gardening culture. Deuce is reading this out of a leaflet, isn't he? I keep hearing pages turning. <laughs> You'll find many types of gardens here, from large and sprawling to smaller and more refined ones as well. Now, Be sure to take a stroll through one of these charming gardens during your stay in the Queendom of Roses. We are, right now. Yeah, look at that bush! It looks exactly like a rabbit! So there's our topiary bushes. Thanks, Grim. <laughs> Is it cursed or something? No bush would grow like that naturally. It must have been trimmed. A fine example of the art of topiary, which is a plant in which a plant is pruned into a specific shape. These shapes can include geometric patterns, animals, and all sorts of other designs. Topiaries can be used to add greater dimension and depth to a garden, further heightening its beauty. Mm -hmm. When visiting one of the Queendom of Roses' many parks, make sh be sure to admire the exquisite topiaries. Way ahead of ya. <laughs> you certainly are knowledgeable, Deuce. But you're also talking really strangely. What's going on with you? And how do you have all this information? You hardly knew anything about Clock Town before. Oh, it's all here in this guidebook. So you've been reading that to us? Yeah, 
I brought it along so I'd be able to answer all of your questions. I was thinking you si kind of sounded like a tall guide or something. And I did some reflection after FL called me out on my lack of hometown pride. It's embarrassing not being able to answer questions about the place you're from. I'm glad you're making an effort. You should always treasure your home. So why is that topiary shaped like a rabbit? Oh, I actually know that one. The White Rabbit Fest is held in honour of the White Rabbit that served the Queen of Hearts. And since this park is the main site of the fest, there are a lot of rabbit-themed decorations. Makes sense. Didn't even need the guidebook for that. How do you like me now? What does Clock Town have to do with the White Rabbit? <laughs> well, let's see. In the past, this region was home to many wild rabbits. As the legend of the white rabbit began to take hold, the wild rabbits came to be considered important as well. Eventually, buildings and products themed after the white rabbit became prevalent here. And Clocktown came to be known as the home of the white rabbit. Oh, that's what the guidebook says anyway. Good thing you got it with you. I'd researched Rabbit National Park in advance, but it's quite the download of information to actually see it for myself. I should take some pictures to preserve this visual data. There's a clock tower in the distance. <laughs> Let's see, that's... It's a symbol of the town, representing all its clockmaking wisdom and technology. I see some hills over there. Though the Queendom of Roses lacks proper mountains, there is no shortage of beautiful hilly regions. The hills offer gorgeous views of meadows, woods and farmland. They're also perfect for a variety of outdoor activities, such as walking, hiking, and cycling. <laughs> Ortho can search a lot faster than you can read that guidebook, Juice. <laughs> yeah, if we're just going to be getting guidebook information as fast as for Ortho to find it. There are woods and ponds within the confines of Rabbit National Park as well. It really is huge. That clock tower marks the centre of the park. I think that is a fair distance away. <laughs> Making note to see what of England they're using for clock town. Yeah, that's, that's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> You get a good view of it from here, which is why they call it Clock Tower Square. There must be so much fun stuff to do in a park this big. Tons. People like to go for walks or have picnics here, and play with their pets too. I used to come here all the time. Huh, I can't picture you lying around in a park. Yeah, I'm picturing Deuce getting in fights in a park. <laughs> the clock tower gives you gives off Big Ben vibes. It does indeed give off um, Elizabeth Tower vibes. Big Ben's the name of the bell. <laughs> um, with the farms and hills, it's probably... <laughs> Here's the thing. Pretty much anything Japanese media-wise that takes place in England either takes place in London or in the Cotswolds. <laughs> so I'm going- I think I'm leaning towards the Cotswolds in this case. <laughs> H 
Hello, Iguana Lasagna. Welcome to the stream. Thanks. The nice thing about a park is that it's free. So naturally, this was where me and my friends would come to hang out. We'd jabber on until nightfall, and then the groundskeeper would come by on patrol to chew us out. If you knew you'd get in trouble, why not just go home earlier? Oh, well, being at home was kind of a drag. Really? But wasn't your mother there? Yeah, that's kind of why. We didn't see eye to eye in those days. But anyway, my point was that this park has something for everyone. Yay, check it out! A huge rabbit walking on two legs! Yeah. I'm assuming a big mascot costume. Oh, that. That's just a costume. There's a person inside. Yeah, right. I knew that. Ooh, that person is wearing bunny ears. And that man over there has a tail. People like to dress up for White Rabbit Fest. Hmm. You sure about that? No need to consult the guidebook. Come on, give me some credit. I used to come to White Rabbit Fest all the time. How fun! I should have equipped a gear with it with a White Rabbit spec before we left. D do you have one of those to hand, Arthur? I guess it looks fun, but I'm not really into cute costumes like that these days. These days? You say? <laughs> um... You said it, I'd be mortified. And Kato would be all over it though. I can hear him now. For the cam! Maybe I should have invited everyone from the dorm? But I bet Mum would have given me an earful. Speaking of your mother, I'm assuming this. Uh, ooh, Deuce's mum voice. Deuce! No, that's not quite right. I'll get one. <laughs> I know that voice. Hello, Deuce's mum. There you are, Deuce. I thought that was you I heard talking. Uh, hi, Mum. Yeah, a bit tomboyish, yes, you're right. Didn't I tell you not- Didn't I tell you to let me- No. Didn't I tell you to let me know as soon as you got here? I know, sorry. I just got caught up in showing everyone around the park. <laughs> Leaving me to sit around waiting, I know. You, and I know you're with your friends, if you if you want to show off, but still. Now, I know you're- no, let's try that one line again. I know you're with your friends, you want to show off, but still. I'm not showing off, don't embarrass me. I think that might be Deuce's mother. <laughs> Welcome to Clocktown, everyone. I'm Deuce's mother, Dilla. <laughs> Wonderful to meet you. Dilla, huh? Nice to meet you too. I'm Silver. Hmm, <laughs> you seem pretty calm for one of Deuce's friends. He's from Diasomnia and a sophomore. Oh, an upperclassman. I'm sure Deuce causes you plenty of headaches, but I appreciate you looking out for it. Of course. Thank you for the warm welcome. Hi, I'm Ethel Fermier. I'm a freshman like Deuce, but from a different dorm. 
Oh, hi. What a darling little boy. <laughs> Don't let appearances fool you, Mom. Bo has guts and grit to go around, just like you. Does he? Well, you'll have to forgive me for getting a bit carried away. Pleased to hear my son is... Pleased to hear my son is someone to get into trouble with. <laughs> I see. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. Hello, Dilla Spade. I am Ortho Shroud. Nice to meet you. Wait, are you a robot? No, I'm not. I'm a humanoid. <laughs> Just one surprise after another. Night Raven College sure is something. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea, it's not like there's a bunch of humanoids at school. Just ortho. <laughs> and I think he was kind of playing it up a bit with you too. <laughs> I just wanted to surprise her more than Ethel did. Anyway, good to meet you, Dilla. Her name's Grim. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I'm Kawa. <laughs> no need to ma'am me. So you're the famous Grim and Kawa. Deuces told me a lot about you. Has he? <laughs> Deuce, what have you been telling your mother about me? I hope it was good things. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, I sure you have. Lots of things. What happens in your lessons, what you do on your days off. And speaking of which, no ace today? Aren't you always talking together in class? Dealer. Yes, that, that makes a lot more sense for um, how to say that. I didn't even spot the pun. <laughs> like the other day after you got your hair cut and, every and you said everyone was teasing you. Knock it off, don't remind me. <laughs> you should know, I'm always sticking up for your son. Hey, don't lie to her. Yeah, Grim. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the... Look at the hedge mage! Ma mage? No. Hedge maze <laughs> over there. I like that. Um... Listen, enough about me. Mum, are you okay being away from the White Rabbit delivery stall this long? Yeah, Ruggy isn't here uh, in this event, Hunter. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on a break. What's White Rabbit Deliveries? Oh, that's the company my mum works for. It's a delivery company known for the distinctive White Rabbit logo on the trucks. famous chain here in the Queendom. The white rabbit that served the Queen of Hearts was always dashing about from place to place. Which makes him the perfect mascot for a delivery service, don't you think? I've been one of their drivers for years. Wow, that's so cool! How sweet of you to say. I love being behind the wheel of a big truck. Anyway, let's head home. Home, like... Our home? Why? 
So you can change into the white rabbit costumes I got for you. Huh? Every year the Barkers at our store wear white rabbit costumes. But we got more than we need, so I stashed some back home. If you're going to enjoy White Rabbit Fest to its fullest, I figured that included dressing up. Mum? I don't suppose that once we're in those costumes, you're going to make us help out, your, out at your stall. Oh, you saw right through me. I knew it. What were you expecting, Deuce? <laughs> they came here to have fun. You can't make them work. Not even for a single measly hour? Just during the peak? You know what, it's fine. Just wear the costumes and hang around the stall a bit. That'll liven things up plenty. <laughs> hey, do are you, are you just trying to recruit booth babes? <laughs> Basically. I don't want to wear it in the first place. Huh? Why not? You did it all the time when you were little. I can just picture you now as a baby all swaddled up with rabbit ears on. It was years ago, Mum. And then once you could walk, you had that fluffy rabbit jacket. You started elementary school, I remember you had these tiny little rabbit ears and tail. And I don't remember any of that. I'm not a kid anymore, I'm not dressing up. <laughs> Are you not, Deuce? <laughs> oh, come on, I already borrowed the costumes. They're all super cute, I promise. Yeah, Deuce, do it for your mother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, I don't know. I might be convinced to dress up as a tiger or a dragon or something, but a rabbit? Yeah, well, you're not going to be dressing up as a tiger or a dragon. This is White Rabbit Fest, Apple. Put on the ears. Um... You wouldn't want to either, would you, Silver? I don't mind. Huh? All we have to do is wear a costume and help draw up customers, right? I see no reason to refuse. Yeah, I'm okay with it too. I love dressing up! I'd like to wear one. You too, Kala? Maybe we're the weird ones? <laughs> yep, you two are outvoted. Now put on the rabbit ears. <sighs> okay, Mom, you win, we'll wear them. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's go get changed. But our place is pretty far from the park. How are we getting there? Not to worry, I've got a company minivan for us. I'll drive, naturally. Uh, she looks like a bit of a lead foot to me. I'll have you know I follow all the rules of the road. Besides, don't you know the White Rabbit delivery slogan? Delivering your cargo swift and safe by any important date. We're not cargo. <laughs> of course not, sweetie. Okay, let's go. This will definitely be a fun and safe trip. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> there, that's a house. Ooh! 
Oh, I heard that. I heard that. Those squealing wheels. Oh, squealing brakes. <laughs> We're here. Come on and get out of the van, everyone. Welcome to our humble abode. This is your house? It's adorable. It does... It does kind of look like the White Rabbit's house, right? From Alice in Wonderland. It's not exactly it, but it looks kind of like it. <laughs> the other houses around us are definitely English countryside village vibes. <laughs> um... Oh, whoops, I forgot to actually do that line. It doesn't seem real, like something out of a picture book. Or an amusement park. And I could see fairies living in a house like this. Even the trees around us are an unu unusual colour. Do people really live here? The roof is made of straw and the architecture is completely different from the other surrounding structures. Deuce Spade, your home is most intriguing. This isn't anything like I'd imagined. Where's your room? Second floor? No. First floor? You're not even close. Um... Basement? <laughs> um, that building is the Clock Town Hall of Records. Oh, so not your house. <laughs> huh? I live in these apartments. My room is on the top right. Ah, you live you live in the normal looking house. Oh, so we were way off. Honestly, I'm kind of relieved. Here you go, everyone. These are your costumes. Wow, there's so many. Ooh, look at that one. It looks just like the white rabbit. Can you even wear any of this, Ortho? No, I can't run the risk of it interfering with the heat exhaust of my school uniform gear. Oh, what a shame. Though with proper machinery, I could fashion a gear based on this costume's design. <laughs> what do you need? A lot of things. But, most importantly, a 3D printer to fabricate the moulding. Hmm, well... Huh? <laughs> There's a Blast Cycle workshop next to my apartment. There is? Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's quite a few of them in town. Right, this town is full of craftspeople who work with precision instruments. That workshop should have a 3D printer and whatever other tools and machinery you need. Let's go have a look, Ortho. The rest of you should go ahead and get changed. So, about the costumes. They pick what you want, but I'm afraid I'll have to divvy them out by size. Eppel, this one's yours. Silver, this one, I guess. Ooh, Crim, this ribbon has your name all over it. Which leaves you... Hmm. Ooh, this one should be good. Thank you so much. I suppose we should get changed. Uh, I hope we got to go out inside to get changed and we're not getting changed in the middle of the road.
It's <laughs> adorable. I'm all ready. Sort of Nutcracker Soldier vibes there with Silver. I've changed as well. Wow, talk about a perfect fit! Long ears, fluffy tail, the very picture of the White Rabbit. I had imagined these festival costumes would be simple things, but they're quite elaborate. Yours is meant to be a marching band uniform. Oh yeah, marching band, that's what it is. And don't you love how elaborate it is? I do! It's so fancy, but it looks really gallant on you, Silver. I'll take your word for it. Mine came with a cape! And <laughs> check out this incredible collar! That is, that is a awesome rough collar, Ethel. <laughs> That's called a ruff. Nobles would wear them in the old days. No one wears them nowadays, even in the Queendom of Roses, but they make for a fun costume. And you'll certainly stand out from the crowd. It suits you well, Athel. Thank you. I thought I'd be more embarrassed to dress up as a rabbit, but I really love this. Yeah, the bonnet is really cute, isn't it? I guess. Maybe because Deuce's own mother picked it out for me. I've finished changing. It looks great on you, Kala. You know, sometimes I really wish you got to see what the costumes <laughs> that the player character got given were. <laughs> You look like one of the topiaries from the park come to life. Oh, so so I'm a round blob. Got it. <laughs> the ears? The tail? You really pulled them off. Ah, <laughs> Grim's, Grim's Ribbon. <laughs> And look at me! I've got a ribbon on! What do you think? It's very colourful. And I love the frills. <laughs> you look great! I'm sure Deuce will think so too. Usually people assume the MC is uh, dressed in the groovy item. Yeah, that make that would make sense, wouldn't it? Because they have their own icons. We're back! <laughs> Ortho is green! <laughs> I finished my costume! Whoa! You made this? You were only gone a few minutes. That's amazing. I call it rabbit gear. He's got a ruff as well. And uh, 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 and, and the poofy shoulder sleeve bits. Hard to believe you put that together so quickly. It truly captures the, that rabbit-like cuteness. <laughs> Thanks. Something else seems different about you, Arthur. No, no, wait, no, this is not Ortho speaking. This is, this is Ethel speaking. Something else seems different about you, Ortho. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. I mean, it's a different colour to what we're used to from Arthur. 
he's not floating. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, you're right. I've omitted the anti-gravity unit this time. I prioritise being as similar to the white rabbit as possible. Oh yeah, the, the mouthpiece is like a rabbit. Look at the the tiny little, <laughs> the teeny tiny little nose at the very top. <laughs> and, uh, and the teeth. <laughs> it's very cute. So I removed a lot of components from my usual school uniform gear. After all, this is White Rabbit Fest. I wanted to get into the spirit of things with everyone. Such attention to detail. Wait, where's Deuce? We came back and changed at the same time, so he should be ready. He doesn't look happy about this. Deuce, you look great! <laughs> now that you mention it, I see a pair of rabbit ears peeking out of the door. <laughs> there you are, Deuce. Don't be shy. Come on out. I love the top hat. I like top hats. <laughs> also, that gradient eye that gradient eyeshadow is really nice. Um, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. You look really cool, Deuce. Did his mark? Yes. It seems that his um, his spade mark is. Uh, a lighter blue than usual. I think it might usually be black actually, lightens it rather than dark blue, but <laughs> you think so? It suits you perfectly. Probably because it was selected by someone who knows you so well. The blue fabric is really cool. It just screams deuce. And the diamond motif is striking. It's a popular pattern in the Queendom of Roses. The mini top hat and the rosette are cool accents as well. It's stylish, but a little comical too, right? Perfect for a festival. But isn't it a bit too over the top? What if I toned it down and just wore the ears and tail? No, Deuce. We're all dressed up. You've got to be dressed up too. Over the top? For White Rabbit Fest? No such thing. Doing something you'd never be caught dead in normally is all part of the fun. Yeah, exactly, Nick. It's a festival. You're supposed to be over the top. <laughs> when else can you wear something like this? <laughs> you should be embarrassed not to wear this. I never thought of it that way. I wasn't sure at first either, but now that we're all dressed up, I'm getting excited. It feels like we're in a parade. <laughs> you know, I think you're right. <laughs> Thanks everyone, especially you, Mum. Do I enjoy going to festivals like this? I, you, I don't have... I, I don't really go to that many festival events. <laughs> to be honest, I probably should go to more. They don't really, they, they don't really have much in the way of festival events where people dress up all fancy-like around here. But I think it would be fun.
I did. I did once go to uh, to Oxford for Alice in Wonderland Day. Um, dre dressed up though, that was fun. Ooh, it looks cool, or it looks cute. It looks both of these things. Deuce isn't gonna get mad at me if I call him cute. It looks cute. That's a compliment, right? Yeah, yeah, of course it's a compliment. I hate wearing stuff like this. But I guess it's fine for a festival. Your outfit is really cute too, Pella. Why, thank you, Deuce. <laughs> ah, silver card. Look how big that maze is! I want to go play in the maze. Amazing. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Deuce's costume is actually the same design as what he used to wear back in the day. Wow, Deuce Spade wore something like that as a child? I can see it now. <laughs> Knock it off. Remember you bawling your eyes about, out about hating normal clothes like it was yesterday. Huh? Did you said that? I might have. We never could afford our own costumes for the festival. So I pulled in a few favors at work. I'd get kids hand-me-downs and then modify them to fit in myself. How selfless of you. Oh, hush. Maybe I was the one who got the most joy out of seeing you running around the festival all dressed up. So what? Anyway, if you like your costumes, you're welcome to take them back to school with you. Ah, uh, yeah! I'll have to show Father and the others. I probably wouldn't wear this at school. Right. Oh, I know. Why don't we take a picture? Yeah. Ah, yes. I was just thinking how I'd love to show Lilia and Melius all of us together. I can take it for you. Thank you so much. Here, use my phone. <laughs> Leave it to me. How should we pose? Can't we just stand normally? No, Silver, you can't. You gotta pose. <laughs> I'll make a heart with my hands. Ah, yes. <laughs> Adorable bunny with cute, with cute heart hands, huh? Yes, I'll fold my arms. Oh, that's cool. I'll do that too. Maybe we should go back. Uh, we could go back to back as well. <laughs> uh, the cool boys club here, huh? Posing in a cool way. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, there we go. We're in. We're in night. 
<laughs> We're in nightlight mode now. I'll fix it in a sec. I am gonna jump up in the air. Kind of a weird thing to do for a group photo. What are you going going to do, Kawa? I think I'm going to join Ortho in the in the Heart Hands Club. <laughs> Well, why don't we do it together? One hand each. I see idols do that all the time. Ah, oh, that's gonna that's so cute. <laughs> okay, take your positions, everyone. Yeah. You can take it now, Mum. Huh? Your phone's different from mine. Where's the camera? That no, that wasn't it. We can't hold this these poses all day. I mean, I mean, FL and Juice. I'm pretty sure you can hold that pose all day. I forgot how bad you are with tech. I am not. I use my phone all the time. Not only to make calls and take pictures, take photos. And that's plenty. Smartphones these days have too many features, if you ask me. I heartily agree. Silver's found a kindred spirit. Most people from Briar Valley are tech challenged. I wouldn't have guessed your mum would be bad with tech, Juice. Especially considering how much you love to tinker with machinery. Since my mum isn't tech savvy, I was always the one setting up and running all of our appliances. <laughs> and, fi and fix them in a jiffy when they broke down. All I did was replace the batteries. <laughs> but what about when the TV broke? It was the remote that broke. I just needed to buy a new one. Yeah, she does in fact sound tech challenge. <laughs> See what I mean? You're so helpful. I barely did anything. Though this does make me wonder how you manage without me. <laughs> Still, it's clear that she really appreciates all you've done for her. Considering how bad you are with tech, Mum, I'm surprised you can drive as well as you do. Driving isn't it doesn't involve too much tech, really, Deuce. Cars are totally different from appliances or computers, though. I've always loved vehicles. I can drive pretty much anything. Really? That's so cool! When I'm behind the wheel, I can just sort of feel my way through what I need to do. <laughs> like whatever I'm driving is an old friend. I know what you mean. I form a bond with blast cycles too. Appliances though, so high and mighty. Always feels like they're looking down their noses at you, right? You've lost me there. <laughs> Grim's still going boing boing. <laughs> How long do I have to keep jumping? Great. Just a sec. Now that we're now that we're done with that particular one, I'm just going to quickly go turn off the, turn off the nightlight. in regular colours. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's messaging. You need some tools to set up the stall. I'll bring them over from our place. <laughs> what are your plans, guys? You can head straight to the festival grounds and check out the stalls if you'd like. I'm not sure. We've still got time. Maybe we should look for a clock for silver first. If we're not in a rush, I'd like to check out the Hall of Records. Huh? That's what this building is, right? The one that looks like it's out of a picture book. I bet we'll learn all sorts about Clock Tower in there. It looks like fun. Does it? I researched the town in advance, of course but I wouldn't want to miss a chance to see the records and exhibits up close. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea, it's right there on everything. Ooh, and if you're going in the Hall of Records, that'll give me a chance to... Oh, oh what was that, Mum? Nothing! Have fun, everyone! Hmm, what's she planning? Well, should we go in? I've got zero interest in that place. I figured as much. It's got a real educational vibe, doesn't it? Seems like the sort of place you'd have gone on a field trip as a kid, Deuce. I went once when I was really little. Never on a field trip, though. Really? Wow. I'd have thought that all the local kids would have come here for their studies. Now that you mention it, I think middle schoolers do come here for field trips, actually. But you said you never... Oh! You ditched that day, didn't you? Uh, uh, I must have been out sick or something. I'm detecting a fluctuation in Deuce Spade's vital signs. There is a high probability that his statement was a lie and that he was cutting class. <laughs> yeah, I want to go in there, Thomas. It sounds, it sounds interesting. I like museums. <laughs> yeah. That explains why you don't know anything about your hometown. So you skipped on purpose? Why? In those days, I didn't see the point in school. No? I never attended a middle school, though they have always struck me as important institutions of learning. I mean, you're right, they are. Silver's too straight-laced to comprehend why anyone would ditch. I deeply regret it now. It's wrong to cut class, I know that. Right, I'm going in the Hall of Records. Who's coming with me? <laughs> Woohoo! I'll come along. I'd like to learn more about your hometown. I'd like to go too. <laughs> Betrayed by my own minion. Hear that, Grim? Give it up already and come with. You've been outvoted, Grim. Outvoted. Welcome to the Clock Town Hall of Records. The building is fashioned after the house that the White Rabbit is said to have lived in. According to legend, the original house was destroyed by fire. But here you can find replicas of the White Rabbit's room, furniture and all. This place is seriously serious. I'm already getting bored. I'm like bored at all. It sounds cool. <laughs> but it'll be good for Deuce to learn about his hometown. So I guess we should go with it. You'll find historic records and information pertaining to local products here as well. Take your time looking around. This is even more boring than I'd imagined. <laughs> Let's just go in and check it out. Yeah. Hmm. 
you know, those of you who don't want to go in the museum could stay outside. I'll go, ha I'll go explore the museum with Otho and Silver. Outside. I didn't expect the stairs to turn into a slide on the way out. <laughs> what a fun hall of records. Yeah, surprisingly. I couldn't believe it when Grimm grew into a giant all of a sudden. Yeah, even though the projector only made it look like he'd grown. Aw, oh, man, it sounded cool in there. <laughs> All I did was eat that cookie that was lying there, and then you were all screaming at me. Nothing even happened, you guys. Of course, Grim. Of course, Grim. <laughs> the young girl in The Legend of the White Rabbit grew bigger after sneaking a bite of a cookie. Here, they projected a blown up image of whoever ate the cookie on the wall. Very clever. I had a lot of fun looking for the gloves, even if we didn't find them in the end. The girl in the legend never found them either, apparently. Probably why they made it so difficult here. Ooh, that makes sense. I thought it, I thought it would be just for little kids, but I got really into it. Pretty much the movie in a small building. I mean, it'll be the entire part of what happened in the White Rabbit's house, right? <laughs> So a lot of growing and shrinking and such. I don't remember any of this awesome stuff from when I came here in elementary school. Seems like they've added a lot of improvements to make things more fun for kids. If I'd known it was this much fun, I wouldn't have skipped out back in middle school. Hello there. Would any of you like to try your hand, and your lungs, in the bugle contest? What? That's a strange event to be put on in a place like this. You see the small horn, the horn without any valves? That, this is a bugle. Supposedly the white rabbit would play one to call a meeting, or summon the queen's subjects. That's why we blow a bugle to signal important meetings in heart level, too. Now that you mention it, some of the white rabbit topiaries in the park also featured bugles. Those are styled after how it would have looked as he began an important trial. I see. So the bugle is a symbol closely associated with the white rabbit. We are holding the contest in honour of the White Rabbit Fest. He'll receive a prize just for participating, but whoever plays the best will take home something special. <laughs> nice, I want to try. Here you go, go on and give it a go. Prepare to be amazed! <laughs> no. Nah. I'm sorry, Grim. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, it takes some skill to get noise out of those things. <laughs> Nothing's coming out. <laughs> it's a tricky instrument for a beginner to play properly, but here's a carrot cookie for giving it a shot. <laughs> I'm assuming that to play this is the same way as uh, as a horn. You sort of gotta blow a raspberry into it. <laughs> it takes me a while to get a to get a noise out of my horn. <laughs> like an actual made out of horn horn. 
I got it from the from the Viking festival up at York one year. <laughs> um. yeah. Why don't we all try? Sure. I want to. I feel like Ortho would not have. Ah. <laughs> Silver got a better noise out of it than Grim did. I don't, I'm not sure Ortho will be able to do it. Um. Ah. Ooh. Good try, Ethel. No! <laughs> Both I managed to get it reasonably well, despite not having uh, lips in this gear. <laughs> uh, it is deceptively difficult. <laughs> not much of a contest in the end. Here in town we learn how to play the bugle in our middle school music classes. Which I bet Juice also skipped. Um, you do? Well then you must be able to play, Juice. Go on. Uh, huh? uh sure. <laughs> well, he did, he did get the loudest noise out of it of any of them. <laughs> You're terrible! Seems Du Spade also cut his music classes. Yeah. I thought all that flute playing and singing was silly, so I skipped out. And today, you got your comeuppance. I don't think that anymore, of course. Music is an important area of study for a mage. Well, at least it's unlikely that you'll need to play a bugle any time in the future. Terribly sorry, but I'm afraid no one's qualified for the special prize. <laughs> you try, Kawa. Uh, sure. Um, I'm pretty sure my first attempt would be absolutely horrendous. Actually, give me a sec, guys. I'll be right back. have returned. Because I decided to make this realistic. <laughs> I went and got my viking horn. So you're going to hear me it be absolutely terrible. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> With absolutely no practice. I don't even know if you heard that. <laughs> There we go. I got a noise out of it. <laughs> Took me like four attempts. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if that was probably really loud for the microphone, wasn't it? Of course, in the game, apparently I can do so much better. <laughs> that was amazing! Full song. I d I'm not sure you can do a full song on this sort of thing. It's just a horn. <laughs> it's 
like for summoning armies, really. <laughs> I'm sorry, Heike. <laughs> I didn't expect to actually be able to get it to make a good noise. <laughs> it's been a few years since I've actually tried to use this thing. Wow, Kella. What a lovely tone. The prize is yours. It's that bugle over there. <laughs> hey, that bugle's actually pretty nice. Not a shabby souvenir. Hey, free instrument. Alright. That's the story. So far. Uh should I sh should I go to the let, let's go to the gacha. And I, I need to at least get up, alright. <laughs> I'm pr <laughs> I have a pretty good collection of of event SRs. I don't have any uh multis to be able to go at, so um Singles, huh? <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't take too many. <laughs> yeah, I imagine if I imagine if I had got it first. <laughs> I, 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 I can do a few. I'm willing to go as far as ten. <laughs> I'd rather not get quite that far. Two temples. I don't want to do that many because I still need to pull for pull for Raggy. <laughs> nope, that doesn't look likely. Nope, just another rare. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I I I'd do it with a temple if I actually had a temple. <laughs> Usually my single keys are a lot better at giving me SRs than this. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward for to being able to put the keys together as well. Oh, two feathers. <laughs> this should be it, right? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Adorable FL is here. <laughs> Love that tabard. <laughs> and the giant floofy cotton tail on the back of it. Bunny <laughs> obtained. There we go. It only took nine. Less, less than one multi. <laughs> there we go. All right. That's it for today then. Thank you for coming, it's been fun. If you're new here and you've enjoyed your time, please consider subscribing to the channel. You can also follow me on social media, the links to which are in the description, which may or may not be down below or to the side, depending on whether you've got uh, that really terrible looking YouTube update, which I hate. Uh, Typically, I have a schedule up on both of the, up both over on social media and here on YouTube in the community tab. But uh, recently, I've been rather schedule-less, and um, 
I'm going to be scheduled this for another reason for the next week, because I'm actually going on a trip. <laughs> so... I'll be gone for a little over a week. <laughs> and I'll see you guys either next ch Tuesday or Wednesday. Depending on when I get back. <laughs> uh, in the meantime... Uh, as regulars may know, if you if you follow me on si on social media, there will be pictures of birds, <laughs> because that's that's how we roll here. <laughs> you will indeed get the usual bird fix. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you next week. Thankfully, thankfully, just in time to be able to do the second part of this. Thank goodness, <laughs> with it being a stamp mission one. I'm, I'm really glad that the, that the event timings fell well for me. <laughs> so yeah, hope to see you then or another time. Once again, thanks for coming and this is Kala signing out. See ya, bye bye.